Find the cubic expansion of 5 minus 3x over 1 plus x times 3 minus x. State the range of values of x for which this expansion is valid. So we've got a 5 minus 3x over 1 plus x, 3 minus x. Now, at first glance, this might seem to be quite daunting. However, we can split this up into what's known as partial fractions. So 5 minus 3x over 1 plus x, 3 minus x is equivalent to a over 1 plus x. This is two linear factors plus b over 3 minus x. Putting both sides over the same denominator, so the denominator would be 1 plus x times 3 minus x, that means that a would have to be multiplied by 3 minus x, and b would have to be multiplied by 1 plus x. So we have that 5 minus 3x is equivalent to a times 3 minus x plus b times 1 plus x. Uh, putting x equal to minus 1 will make that 0. We're going to have 3 minus 3 times minus 1, which is 3 plus 8. Three, uh, 5 plus 3, which is 8. Here, we're going to have 3 minus minus 1, which is giving me 4. Therefore, a is equal to 2. So we'll put 2 in here. And put x is equal to 3, we'll make that 0. So here, we're going to get 5 minus 3 times 3, which is minus 4. And here, we're going to have 4b gives me b is minus 1. Therefore, 5 minus 3x over 1 plus x, 3 minus x, is equivalent to 2 over 1 plus x minus 1 over 3 minus x. Now, if we expand, take this, and we expand that using the binomial theorem up to x cubed for a uh, frac um, negative index, we've got a negative index here, we're going to have to expand 2 1 plus x to the minus 1. That's 2 outside the brackets, so we're going to have 1 plus n, which is going to be minus 1 times x plus minus 1 times minus 2 over 2 factorial x squared plus minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 over 3 factorial x cubed using this idea here. Stop here because we've got to x cubed. Multiply, uh, sorry, simplifying first, we've got 1 minus x plus x so we're going to have 2 over 2 and we're going to have 6 over 6 here minus x uh, cubed will be minus because it's 3 minus is there and then we're going to have that that's 2 minus 2x plus 2x squared minus 2x cubed over to this one this will be 3 minus x to the minus 1 so we need to make this 1 in, in the front so we do that by taking out a 3 but we keep it within the bracket 1 minus x over 3 to the power of minus 1. So we're going to have 1 third, because 3 to the minus 1 is 1 third of 1, times minus 1 times minus uh, x over 3, plus minus 1 times minus 2 over 2 factorial minus x over 3 all squared, and then minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 over 3 factorial minus x over 3 cubed. That's going to give me uh, 1 third times 1 plus x over 3 plus x squared over 9. This will be positive. Plus x cubed over 27. Negative times a negative is a positive times a negative is a negative. But when you cube this, you're going to get a negative, which will make the whole thing positive. This becomes 6 over 6, so we just need to cube this x cubed over 3 cubed, which is 27. Similar idea here. Multiplying through by 1 third, we get 1 third plus x over 9 plus x squared over 27 plus x cubed over 81. So now what we will do is put it together. So 5x minus 3x over 1 plus x by 3 minus x it's the same as doing 2 times 1 plus x to the minus 1 minus 3 times 3 minus x to the minus 1. So that's going to be the first one, which is 2 minus 2x plus 2x squared minus 2x cubed minus all of this. Removing the bracket, so we'll get minus a third minus x over 9 minus x squared over 27 minus x cubed over 81. So using my sort of calculator using fraction button, I'm going to get 5 over 3 
minus 19 over 9 minus 53 over 27x squared minus 163 over 81x cubed. So, so expanding that, um, we just need to apply the binomial theorem twice. Now, what is it valid for? Well, the expansion, this expansion here is valid for x being between minus 1 and 1. And this expansion here, and we think of it like this, 1 minus x over 3 to minus 1 is valid for x over 3 being between minus 1 and 1, therefore x being between minus 3 and 3. So if we put those both, those inequalities both on the same number line, so there's my number line. This is the one from minus 1 to 1. This is from minus 3 to 3. We want the bit which is common to both, which is just going to be from minus 1 to 1. Therefore, both expressions are valid, provided that x is from minus 1 to 1, or the absolute value of x is less than 1. These mean the same thing. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to expand uh, a fraction using partial fractions and then use a binomial theorem to find the uh, expansion of, a, of the original fraction. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.